Many of you have asked me, whether you've emailed or commented, can you use a Dremel in place of an e-file? That's what we're going to talk about today. Let's get started. Thank you to everyone for investing in my premium nail files. For volume users, they're now available in bulk at nailcareer.com. So I find this adorable. Husbands are so well-intended. They want to help, which is fantastic, and they even want to be involved. So they run to the store and they get a Dremel tool, which is what they can use in tools like uh, woodworking. Mike, do you know anything about a Dremel cameraman? Uh, they're very popular with hobbyists, woodworkers. Yeah, and metalwork, right? Yeah, yeah. pretty much anything you yeah. want to Yeah, so it's meant saw. for very hard surfaces, not organic surfaces. So my first reaction is, oh, goodness, no. <laughs> but... As I have learned with everything, let's check it out before I make a final decision. So I have purchased a Dremel from a hardware store and I purchased an e-file that everyone can buy, no license required. They're actually the same price. This was, I think, $90, $89, $90, and this was also $90, that's Canadian. I also found them on Amazon and the prices were a little cheaper. If you don't have Prime though, it's about the same. I got some new glasses. Check these ones. I'm buying new glasses wow. left and right, you guys. Nice. Ooh, those <laughs> Cute. are cool. Yeah, I like it's them. It's almost a Susie color. I'd love to get like this nail color on me glasses. Okay, so let's break it down. Let's take apart the Dremel. I have never used a Dremel. I have no nail technicians to use a Dremel. And uh, let's see what we got here. Let's just take it all out. I will look at the instructions even though I'm not really instruction person. There is the paperwork. Okay. We got it all out. Okay, so let's put this aside. We've got the Dremel out. And let's get out the e-file intended for nails specifically. Okay, now, you know, I'm not opposed to buying stuff that with outside the nail world. I have purchased brushes for years. I purchased brushes that were not intended for nails specifically. And then, of course, the nail world does that. But I used to go to art stores and buy my brushes. You mean for painting? Yeah. Nail art. Okay. I don't need that either, I hope. And here's the Dremel. So I got to get a look at this Dremel right away. So I'm going to pull the Dremel machine out. I say machine because it looks like serious. Okay. Okay, look at this thing. Am I supposed to hold this? <laughs> okay, well this is the first time I've actually held a Dremel in my hand. So I'm gonna set both of the drills up and then we're gonna run them and see what they're like. And then we're gonna com do a direct comparison. Okay, so here is the bits. Now, clearly these are bits that are meant for metalwork, woodwork, plastic, sharpening tools and stuff. I wouldn't use these on nails, but this drill is supposed to be good for 332. So. Um, there should be a little chuck inside here that's good for a 332 bit, which is the bits industry standard that we use for the um, actual nail drills. Now this doesn't come with nail bits, of course, so I'm going to steal it from here, my 332, to see which one it fits. So these are the chucks, and let me see if the one that's in there fit. Okay. I've never worked with a Dremel before, but this little lock thingy here. There, there's a little bolt thingy inside there. I think that's the chuck. Oh, there's a lock sign here. Okay, so if I press this, maybe that'll lock. Oh, that locks it. Okay. Oh, it came out. So clearly this is not the right size bit. So I have to take this off. So this just pops right out. So now I gotta find the one that actually fits the 332 bit. Well, that fits inside of it. This one, there's a ton of room. So this must be the one, I assume. Put that in there like that. Oh, and I can put this thing on top. Okay. Yeah, okay. Now, don't put it all the way down. Um, I guess you could, but we always leave it a little bit out, but that may be just for the reach. I'm not sure. I'm just, it's gonna slide in. I'm just gonna leave it like that then. I don't know enough about these things to improvise it. So, and to lock it, I guess I would do the same, right? Okay, so let's let's see if it's charged. Yeah, it's got a bit of a charge in it, so let us do our thing. Otherwise, it's cordless, so you could just charge it up. That's what this is all about. Okay, so that's ready to go, and it's ready for a nail. And this is the same priced e-file that I purchased. It's got the bits, and the other bit is in there, because, of course, this doesn't come with bits, and this did come with a sanding bit. Oh, 
Okay, so let's compare the two directly. Okay, first of all, I can just say aesthetically. <laughs> I have to be very honest that if I walked in and sat down at my nail table and I saw the Dremel versus the nice little e-file, I'd be much more comfortable with the e-file right off the bat. This thing looks a little intimidating and it's, you know, if she knows anything or he knows anything about woodworking or metalwork or anything, they might know that this is actually a hardware tool. And I will say for insurance purposes, if you are using a Dremel, you might want to check with your insurance company because if anything goes wrong and you are using a tool that's meant for hardware and tools, might pose a problem with your insurance if you if something goes wrong. So double check that. You're talking about if you're a professional. Yeah, if you're a professional yeah. and you're doing nails professionally. So that's one first red flag for me for the Dremel. Okay, so let's just compare the hand pieces right out of the gate. If I just take a look at the hand piece size alone, I mean, look at that. And this is heavy. This is so much lighter in comparison. And if I'm going to do a nail fill and I'm using my e-file for the entire appointment, and if I'm doing appointments back to back, I am not gonna wanna carry this in my hand for my career. There's just no way. Just for the sake of holding on to it in general, it is so much more slender. Look at that tiny little thing. You can comfortably hold it and there's not much pressure on the back of your hand. That can weigh on you after a while. Whereas this is giant. I actually can't really, even hold this the same way that I normally would and to hold that weight up because this is cordless. So the motor and everything that makes it to run this thing is in here. So you're holding on. It's no different than if you're, whoopsie, if you're holding this whole thing in your hand as you're working. <laughs> so right out of the gate, I'm going to say that um, this is why when they designed e-files for the industry, they specifically designed them like this. Otherwise, we would have designed them just like this. Um, but this is really, really heavy. That's made to cut through a lot more than nails. Right? Exactly. That's why it's so exactly. heavy duty. And even if you look at the brochure, you're not doing it on people. You're doing it on woodwork and, you know, yeah. stuff like that. So, but I just want to do a direct, direct comparison so that we all understand what these are for. Now, this is, that's just the lowest. Okay, so let's just take the lowest speed. So that's just on the first setting. I'm not gonna go any higher than that. In fact, I ain't even gonna put this on my natural nail because I'm gonna show it on tips. <laughs> I don't want this on my nail. Also too, there is a vibration. It's not as bad as I thought it would be, to be honest with you. That is getting, mm -hmm. I don't wanna hold that for my uh, nail fill. My hands are gonna be vibrating by the time I'm finished. Also too, just the enormous, volume just the sound of it is so loud i mean we're already wearing masks as nail technicians you wear a mask so you're already talking loud over the mask yeah okay so let's compare i'm gonna turn this guy on oh i have to steal my bit how do i have to unlock the whole thing just to you get it out grab the end that plastic i have thing to unlock yet. the whole thing just to get it out don't i yeah i have to go through that every time yep. i want to mm. Every time you change your bit. Right. right. Yeah. We do that with this too, in all fairness. We do, you know, lock, but that's all we have to do. And we have to unscrew everything. Okay, let's turn this on and listen to the difference. Wow, it doesn't even sound like it's on. This is a meta cool. This is not a sponsored video in any way. But you this bought is, this yourself. I, oh, yeah. yeah. And this is uh, quieter than I expected it to be. It's actually yeah. quite nice. Yeah, it is nice. But maybe I'm, you know, happier with it because this was so loud. So anything quieter would be, but this is nice and quiet. I mean, you've heard e-files, eh, cameraman? And you know oh, yeah. that this is really quiet. It is, yeah. And it's a nice fluid little thing to turn on. The dial, you can really zone in to what RPMs you want. Very specific. Whereas this, you don't have a dial choice. You are literally picking the four levels that it offers. That's it. But I like this. I mean, I wouldn't go that fast. But listen, let's go full volume. It's really loud. Sounds like a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, I wouldn't work them this high anyway. I work it more at this uh, volume, I was going to say. <laughs> RPMs, right? Just a nice gentle. And something else let's take a look at is the vibration on it. There's virtually no vibration 
on this little e-file. Now, this is not expensive. This is only 90 bucks. This is actually pretty cheap. My whole career, I've used like the, if you saw my 80s video, remember that big buffalo drill that we had? That was $1,200 that I purchased in the 80s. It was a lot of money for me back then, especially as a new nail technician, right? With no, no clients, <laughs> just getting started. This was only $90 and it does virtually the same thing as my big ones. This will poop out a little bit sooner than my big one because of the motor is much tinier but I'd much rather use this and it's only 90 bucks. Okay, so the vibration is virtually null. And this guy, lowest thing, it does have much more vib vibration. And when you get higher it is, but I wouldn't recommend you would use that like that anyway. Let's check out the vibration of the bit. So if you turn that on, when I say that, you run it along your finger and you don't want it to vibrate. Okay, so what I'm going to do is let's grab some tips because I don't want to file my own natural nail. And if I file this on my natural nail, which I would do, and if I don't file this on my natural nail, then it's not a direct comparison. So let's take a couple of tips here and file it on some tips and hear and see and feel what it's doing. Okay, so when I work with an e-file, I turn it on very, very low, about four or five thousand, between three thousand and maybe five thousand RPMs to buff the natural nail, right? And this is what it will sound like and work like. And also too, I should get into a master E-class in filing because you need to anchor your pinky. That's going to be harder with that one. There's not a lot of room to do that. So I'm just going to buff this little guy. And again, that's about four or five thousand RPMs. Oopsie. And I can shorten it. I'm going to anchor my hand and I'm going to shorten it. And you don't want to take off too much nail because sometimes you just want to shorten just a little bit. So I don't want to go zoom. Oh, you did too much nail technician. We just want to do little bits by little bits, right? Okay, so that's a nice gentle prepping for the natural nail. Let's compare. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to take this off. You can see it's so much easier interchangeable because it's prepared. It's prepared for the 332 bits that you have. Okay, now I'm going to turn it on. Now remember how I'm holding it? I hold a drill specifically like this and I put my pinky out because again, it's more into the learning about e-files, but you got to anchor yourself somewhere and then you can file. So it's a bit of a different angle. I can't really get as much of a good angle on it because this is pulling my hand back and I've got to hold it sort of that I'm holding it. I'm holding the whole motor in my hand as I'm trying to file. I mean, if I had to, and I was in an emergency situation, I could do it. But I wouldn't want to do it for any more than fixing someone's broken nail. If I had to do a whole fill, I'd, I'm out. <laughs> and then I'm going to shorten this. Yep, it takes away a lot of nail pretty quickly. But your e-file can do that as well. If I turned up the RPMs, I could really get rid of that. But the point is, with a Dremel, I can't go any lower. So you will not be able to use this to uh, prepare the natural nail. I wouldn't go anywhere near a natural nail with this bad boy. And I will say it is very awkward to this bit here, because the drill is so heavy, I'm trying to angle it and it needs to go more flat, but because of all this in here, it's very, very bulky. It's not as thin as that. So I find that the drill is pulling down and the tip is wanting to dig, because you're trying to hold it up. So the tip part is digging in. The angle is actually quite wrong. And maybe it's something you would get used to. But um, why bother? They're the same price. Now, I will say, there's going to be a huge difference in torque and power that one can give you over the other. This is not going to have great torque. Let us let me show you what I mean. I have to unscrew this again. This I find a pain. I wouldn't want to do this all the time because if I had a client and I had to do this every time I was changing the bit for every procedure that I wanted to do, I, that would get old pretty quick. Okay, so what I mean by that, but this is a, you know, a less, inex a more inexpensive drill. Now, this is when you put this guy on, you know, you put your hand there and you can get a nice angle and then you file right across and get much more even strokes, right? And it's so much lighter, I have to say. I'm going to turn it up a bit. I'm going to shorten the tip. Now, at some point, because it's going to have less torque than this one, because this is made for, you know, strong uh, wood carving and stuff like that, but this is made for nails, 
and it doesn't have a super strong torque in it or a lot of power, you might say, so it might stall out. So I'm gonna try to see if it stalls out. Usually they do. This is holding its own pretty good. See how it's slowing down? Just because it doesn't have as much torque as this. This won't probably ever do that. Would it, Karen? Would you do anything know. about that? I don't know. I've never, honestly, I've never used a Dremel. I would just use a refile if I had to file some stuff down. You would use my file? <laughs> no, he wouldn't. <laughs> I'm the opposite. I'm like, yeah. I'm using your nail file as a Dremel. <laughs> this, yeah, that's right. This is holding its own, but I can tell you that it just won't have a super, let me see. Now, a more expensive professional one would probably not won't do, do that. that. Yeah. But this might do that. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm just warning. I'm not saying that this is, you know, better in every way. I would I would still pick this over that because this is much, much more intimidating and it's not meant to be using on nails. So even though this might not have a strong torque like this might be, this is way overkill. This is still a better bet. And that shortened it quite nicely. But this is what it's supposed to do. And that, look how nice and even that is. And it's much easier to do. When you're doing emotions like this quite a bit on whether you are a novice or you're a professional, you're doing this a lot. You want to make sure that you have something that's not so heavy. Okay. Even Let's if you're doing it yourself at home. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If you're doing it at home. I mean, if you're doing yourself and your friends and your family, you're going to be doing it a fair amount. You do not want a heavy. Just look at the size difference. I can't get over the size difference. That's enormous. And that's a b relatively big handpiece on that EFA, I thought. Yeah, and this that, is. For yeah, me, I like a much more one. slender handpiece. Mm -hmm. It seems to be when you get into more of the higher prices, you can get more slender handpieces. So they are available. You can get them even more slender. But I find this kind of funny. Dremel Light. I guess they got a bigger or more powerful one. Oh, yeah. No, when I went to the store there, I'm like a fish out of water, but I'm looking at all these Dremels. And there are some that have literally giant handles on it that you can hold it. I mean, I'm not going to show up to trim my my little plants like my rose bushes with a chainsaw. And that's to me what this is all about. You are literally showing up with a chainsaw. Yeah, if my nail technician had that, I would literally not sit in the chair. <laughs> and I've known some people to use this, but their clients did say how it burned their natural nail bed when they were working it, and how could it not? <laughs> After filming this video, I discovered this handpiece attachment on Amazon, which doesn't fit the Dremel I bought. I'm still concerned on the weight, thick cord, and speed. If you have experience, leave a comment. So you might be thinking, you have a Dremel, why not use it? Well, I gotta tell you, my opinion is totally thumbs down on the Dremel. Use the instrument that's meant for what you're doing, working on your nails, an organic surface. This is not meant for that. So don't use the Dremel. There's many e-files that I have used in some videos and I'll list them in the description box below so you can check them out. Also, if you're looking at upping your skills with filing and sculpting, check this video out.